Well, hello guys, Kiaris here, back with another video. Well, Samsung has launched their flagship S23 series. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Well, starting off with the S23, the base variant, you will get the all certain bands which is required in the phone. Nothing matters if you are choosing for the Ultra or S23 Plus. The one thing which is uh, like about uh, the Samsung is you will get the, all the certain bands which are needed. Whether you choose the base or the flagship one. In many companies we have seen this thing that uh, all the certain bands are not available. But over here Samsung has not done certain things and they are sticking. Apple is also doing the same and Samsung. Well, talking about the display, you will get the display which is the dynamic AMOLED display 2x with the 120Hz of uh, the refresh rate and the peak brightness over here is 1750 nits of which is a great brightness but as we have seen in the last video of the Xiaomi, they are giving something like 1900 nits. So if we compete, it is not as bright but uh, the Samsung displays are always a great display, doesn't matter and need of the brightness. So in this terms, the brightness is okay. And uh, the inches is 6.1 inch of display and uh, the resolution over is of the 1080p of the resolution. Well, talking about the OS, you will get the Android 13 out of the box with the 5.1 of uh, the one ui and uh, the performance is uh, the crate which is the snapdragon 8 gen 2 there has been no news of the exynos which uh, they were thinking that uh, to produce something new flagship also the adreno you will get the 740 while talking about the color we have seen many times that the base variant is coming with the more variant option color option because uh, it is in the budget and it is the first phone but over here this thing is not for this phone uh, colors are staking has similar has all maybe in ultra you will get one or two variations the colors are of the s23 are graphite lavender phantom black lime green cream and uh, many more if i forget you can just uh, see in the list over here well in the terms of battery i think this is the lowest battery of the flagship series because you will get only 3900 mh of battery which is quite low also the power of uh, charging is only 25 watt and uh, also the reverse wireless charging which is of the 15 watt is available sorry wireless charging of 15 watt and 4.5 of the reverse wireless charging so the battery seem to be low at least uh, 4200 or maybe 4000 will be great but uh, it is okay uh, talking about the camera of this phone you will get the three camera setup which is of the 50 10 and 12 talking about the 50 megapixel which is of 1.8 aperture and uh, the primary camera with ois uh, rather than the telephoto and ultra wide does not have ois which is like uh, 10 megapixel of 2.4 and 12 for 2.2 another you will get the 8k recording over here and uh, talking about the front camera you will get the 12 megapixel which is of 2.2 aperture and uh, the recording is 4k at 60f also the storage variant are divided into three which is 8 plus 128 8 plus 256 8 8 plus 512 Talking about the three variants, in one variant you will get the 3.1 of UFS which is of 128GB. So for UFS 4.0, uh, there are chances that you might be seeing some price difference because uh, first is supporting the base variant is supporting like 3.1 and other one is supporting 4.0. Well, talking about the another phone with the S23 Plus, there is a not much change in spite of the display you will get the 6.6 .6 inches and the battery is uh, largely updated which is like 4700 which is uh, as compared to something like 800 millihertz more as compared to the last one which is a quite huge jump also the variant of the year of the storage is uh, 
only two which has been 128 has been removed you will get the 8 plus 256 and 8 plus 512 so ufs 3.1 option has been won so you can choose your faster one which is the 4.2 well talking about the premium one which is the s23 ultra it includes the s pen in it uh, so s23 and s23 plus does not do that thing you will talking about the display you will get the 6.8 inches of the display and uh, uh, the resolution has been uh, corrected over here which is like a 4k resolution you will get over here which is 1400 of pixels over here is in this phone so you will get the better resolution as compared to the last two one well now ultra includes one color which is the sky blue and you will get the battery like 5000 over here and the charger over here is the 45 watt of uh, fast charging support i want to also correct that uh, in the plus also you will get the 45 watt of fast charging support which is the great thing over here well talking about the camera department certain things has been changed now you will get the quad camera setup which is uh, the great thing so one camera is included which is the periscope telephoto 10 megapixel 4.9 with OIS also the primary camera has been changed up to 200 megapixel with 1.7 aperture and also has the OIS while the telephoto doesn't have the OIS in the S23 and S23 plus over here OIS is included rest of this thing remain same now talking about the storage uh, the 8 plus 256 as the base variant over here another you will get 12 plus 256 12 plus 512 and last goes up to 1 gb of 12 gb ram which is the great ufs 4.0 in all the certain things no question over there well talking about the price tag uh, the base variant of s23 is starting from 75,000 INA, which is a great another I don't know but you can see in the list over here well the plus is uh, like 95,000 over here rest of is the list and uh, the ultra is like one like 25,000 if we convert uh, uh, the ultra only for the USD I think it's a slight expensive has a uh, always competing with the apple samsung and apple are always competing slightly expensive but the advantage of the s pen might be what there makes the price digitable now let's talk about all the three phones and what certain things might be great in this phone first of all starting with the base variant which is the s23 the charging can be improved because uh, 25 watt is uh, not a fast charger because they are telling that uh, for charging of the 50 person only it will take like 30 minutes so for full charge might take one hour also or maybe more than that or under that so it is a lot of time consuming also uh, s23 plus has been great which is like uh, 45 watt but still half hour it will take something like 65 percent which is a uh, manifold and many charger has the capability and has the more battery to prove that in half hour they can charge more than that but the ultra is taking the same time as the 65 percent of the 30 minutes which is also a great thing because uh, there is slightly big battery of the ultra but it is a great thing that the charging is a, like the similar thing also one another thing if i talk about is the display might be saying that uh, the base variant has not a much battery but many companies nowadays are giving the lgpo display which is a uh, very great i have not much known about the what the dynamic amoled 2x do but uh, LTPO display is now a great chance in the flagship Apple also uses and many companies like I have made the video of the Xiaomi 13 you can check it out also use this display so over here uh, might be getting more consumed or uh, with the Samsung smart things uh, might be getting less consumed in the battery terms uh, 
also the innovation over here is uh, only about the two and certain things of the camera which is of the 200 megapixel in ultra and uh, the another which is the processor obviously because it's a flagship another thing i cannot say which is a uh, great in this phone but uh, this phone is uh, okay because uh, we have seen many flagship and uh, not much done innovation but now apple can say that i was a dynamic island and uh, what samsung has the new to the equation so apple can just uh, ask the samsung like samsung do and does every time so this was all about the s23 series hopefully you like this video subscribe to the channel press bell notification to also never miss any other update coming soon with another and just tell me in the comments are you going to buy s23